Hey, what's going on, guys? Tyler here from Just Bats here to break down some of the 2019 USA models that we have right to my right here. Hopefully, you guys will join in. You got some questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I've got my buddy Dan on the laptop over there, so he's going to be feeding me some of those questions. But to get started, I'm going to break down just a little bit about each one of these and why I like them myself, and more importantly, why the consumers out there using the bats now are liking them as well. So first off, we've got the Axe Origin model. This is the only bat in the entire lineup that's going to have a two and a quarter inch barrel diameter. So for those out there, I get calls all the time up in the call center. You may have spoken with me. I need a USA bat, but it can only have a certain barrel size. This would be a really good option for an older player needing a one piece alloy bat that's going to have that two and a quarter inch barrel. Also, we've got that axe handle right there, ergonomically going to fit right in your player's hand for maximum comfort and performance. Next up, we've got the Mizuno Hot Metal Bat. That's a drop 10, one-piece alloy bat. Pretty much everything you're looking for in a traditional baseball bat. Going to offer that ping on contact. Going to be a little bit stiffer. Going to help you drive the ball. So we go down, we run into our first composite model. So to give you a little bit of insight, last year composite models in 2018 USA Bats it really weren't that high performing. It's a really tricky thing to get right with a new certification. I think as we continue to go forward and they get that technology right, you're going to see composite bats start to become more and more higher performing on the USA line of bats. So with this, it's going to be a multi-piece bat, really lightweight to swing through the zone. You're going to want to break it in though. Once you do, I think you're going to get really good performance out of that. It's going to be one of the most comfortable bats that we have up here and in the entire line as well because of that anti-vibration connection point. Now we've got the Rawlings Velo. This was one of the better bats in the 2018 lineup. I think 19 is going to be a great one too. Got that hot blue color scheme with that black. Going to be really crisp out there on the playing field. You've got a one-piece alloy again. You've got a carbon copy, or sorry, carbon composite end cap in place to help balance out the weight profile. Going down a little bit further, we've got a really balanced bat, the Easton B Speed. One piece alloy. This is actually a drop 11 bat. Younger player looking to generate more bat speed. One piece alloy. Can't go wrong with the speed. Then we've got the Easton Ghost X Evolution. Now, the Ghost X last year was actually kind of. Uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a desired bet, to say the least. I think they figured it out a little bit more with the Evolution. A great brand like Easton, they're going to figure things out. So the Evolution, that multi-piece composite material, you're going to have really comfortable swing weight. And this is going to allow you with that pro balance swing weight to actually get more power behind the ball. It's going to be a little bit more like what we used to call slightly inloaded bats for a bigger, stronger player looking to drive it. Now we've got the Voodoo. The Voodoo from last year, if you spoke with me on the phone, maybe I replied to one of your emails, you know I love the Voodoo model. It's one of the only five-star reviewed USA bats from 2018. You've got the carbon composite handle that's going to break down those vibrations. Then you got the alloy barrel. That's going to help drive the ball. going to be stiffer on contact. DeMarini CF Zen, multi-piece composite bat. We think it's going to be a lot hotter than last year's was. And the reason for that, they've started to incorporate smarter composite material, as I've kind of spoken about Rawlings and Easton as well. It can be a really nice balanced bat that once broken in, going to be dynamite. Then we've got the Louisville Slugger Solo 619. If you were around in February last year looking for a 618, March, April, you know how crazy the demand was for the 618. 619 continues to carry that torch forward. One piece alloy, going to make a really nice controllable bat through the zone. And the last one I'm going to touch on, then we'll get to those comments. I can see them coming in now. We've got the Select 718. That's going to be a hybrid bat. Composite handle, alloy barrel. It's going to allow your player to drive it through the zone. I think it's probably the most comfortable in terms of the way the handle feels in my hand. So if you've got a player that's got a little bit more, I don't know, it would be larger hands for a younger player, Really comfortable bat in my hands. Now we're going to get to some of those comments. Um, we're going to kind of feed through there, start to get your feedback. Remember, it's really important that we get feedback from you guys as well. Most everyone working here is going to be um, swinging drop three models in the cages around here on campus. So feedback on these youth bats is so important to us. So we love to get that, kind of get to those questions now, see what we've got hanging out there in the comment section. All right, Tyler. Bill wants to know some more information on that red Easton you got up there. Um, this one? Yep. Have you heard good things, bad things about that? What do you got? We've heard much better things. So last year, Ghost X, man, they're just... 
people were saying it was stinging a lot, it was heavier than expected. Now most of these bats will be a little bit heavier than they're listed, that's just the way bats go. But the Ghost X Evolution, what they've done is they've actually extended that profile, and I feel like the swing weight's actually been a little bit, it's more refined now. Um, you're going to want to break it in. It is going to be a tougher time of the year to do that because it's colder outside. Composite doesn't work as well in the cold. But so far, most of the comments and feedback I've gotten from players using it in the cage, they actually really like this model. And last year, I was not saying that about the Ghost. Um, next, we got Ryan who's wondering kind of you know, um, about the Louisville Slugger Prime USA bat. Um, or any information on that? Okay, thanks for the question, Ryan. Um, so the Prime, they didn't have it last year, and so we didn't have a ton of feedback on it. A lot of these are, are continuations from last year's model. You know it's only a two-year cycle for the USA bats so far. So I selected the two that we had a lot of feedback on last year to give you an idea. They were really popular. That Prime, I imagine, is something, like I said, composite was so hard to get down to that USA certification and make it legal. The Easton Ghost lost its certification at the 3020 size. So with that prime, I think Louisville Slugger actually took a year, wanted to kind of soak in what the certification was going to be about and start to use that extra time to make a composite option. So the prime, we haven't got a lot of feedback on it yet. I think it'll start rolling in a little bit more as people get more comfortable. Obviously, the prime and the BB core certification might have been the most popular bat last year. It was the bat I was swinging in the cages on campus here. I really love the Prime, um, super balanced bat, really smooth. I'm not a bigger guy. I like to just hit the ball and not worry about vibrations. The Prime, it does all of that. So I'd imagine that's going to be much the case with the USA bat now that they've taken a little bit of time to figure it out. Real quick, Bill wants to know, is the Evolution a drop eight? Yes, yes, Bill. This Evolution is a drop eight. Um, this was just the one that we had available to us in the call center. This is actually going to be an awesome bat for someone that's 12 to 14 years old, transitioning towards that drop three style. And remember, it is pro balance. So even though it says the word balanced in that feature, it's going to be a little bit slightly inloaded. It's, it's an approachable term that they've created this year. But with that, it's going to be one that you're going to get more weight behind on the barrel. It's going to allow you to swing it, but also it's not going to be too inloaded. So it's not approachable for anyone that's not hitting necessarily in the middle of the order. Okay. Now I know the Zen's not up there, um, but Matt and Patty were wondering if there's any feedback on the D-Marini Zen. Oh, okay. Actually, we do have it right here. I think it was blocked from your view. Um, so the Zen last year, again, those composites, man, they just were not... People didn't love them. And I think what was driving that even more so was the fact that composite bats, they're $300 plus. And when you drop down that certification to a, such a lower threshold than you triple SA, someone that drops $300 and thinks, man, I've, I've figured it out. I've spent the money. They've got the best bat out there. And then it, it's kind of a dud. That, that's hard to swallow. And I, I totally understand that. I got calls on it left and right. I, I get it myself. Now this Zen, we've actually gotten quite a, quite good feedback on it. Um, we've only been selling it for about a month now, so it it's kind of mixed in terms of how often we get calls on it or how often we get reviews on it, but so far people are saying it's more balanced than last year, and they, they say it has more pop. Now we'll see. We're getting to the end of February. This is going to be something that as we go into April, May, June, is only going to continue to get better in terms of which one of these are really the best options. Like last year, it stood out. The Voodoo, and the Solo, those kind of rose to the top. We knew those were awesome models, and that was from the feedback. So again, as you guys are using any of these models, or if you don't see your model, whatever happens over the next couple of months as your player's playing, or if you're a player watching, go onto our site, make a review, because that's only going to help us better inform everyone else out there. Okay. Jim wants to know, um, he's surprised to see the, the Easton D-Speed Hybrid is hanging there. Um, mm -hmm. He wants to get your thoughts on that bat? Yeah, so the, the Easton B-Speed Hybrid, the, the reason this was one that was selected, it's a really lightweight bat. And so this was actually, this lineup is a little bit more of helping fit each type of player that we might have inquiring. So with this model, you've got a younger player that's looking for a controllable bat. The Beast last year, I think, got, got incorrectly grouped with the Ghost. It was a good bat. One piece alloy bats, a lot easier to kind of get closer to that threshold right away because you don't have to break them in, test them, make a small adjustment, test them. 
an alloy bat's hot out of the wrapper, you make one adjustment, you hit five balls, and then you go, ah, let's let's tweak it this way. So actually, the Beast last year was a really good model. You guys may have may have had a little bit mixed feelings on it, but the majority of the feedback was that this, not this model, but the Beast was a good bat. Now, the Beast Speed, what they've done is they've taken out a little bit of that extra weight, and now it's even more approachable for a younger player. I would say this bat is probably something for someone that's seven, maybe even six if they're a little bit stronger, all the way up to maybe 10 years old. So it's going to be a really, really balanced bat, and that's really the reason that it was selected for this lineup. Um, some of these might actually be a little bit higher performing, but this is going to be easier to approach for a younger player. Thank you for the question. Okay. Next up, we got Dan. Um, he wants to get your thoughts on the 619. Is it the same as the 618 with the new paint job? Okay, okay. Now, was that your question, or was that actually a Dan? Dan Duffy. Oh, I see why you selected it. Oh, sorry there. Dan, thank you for the question, by the way. So the, the 619, it's going to be pretty similar. I'm not going to try and beat around the bush, say marketing jargon, anything like that. It's going to be pretty similar. Um, the paint job, obviously, is different. I think actually looking at the model, I've compared them side by side. This is going to have a larger, or sorry, a longer barrel. So the, the Solo last year, it tapered really high up. It tapered closer to like that point. And here you're about that. I know it's about an inch, but an inch can make a lot of difference when you go to swing a bat. So I think they've refined it. If you can see it, it's a larger overall barrel. And I think as a result, you're going to find that it's a better overall sweet spot. Now, the problem that's going to happen with the 619 is actually going to be that the 619 is going to be compared to the 618 one of the best bats from last year. So you're going to have this nostalgia thing creeping up and going, oh man, I'm going to get that 619 and it's going to be every bit. And then it might be every bit, but it doesn't live up to how you remember it. Or it doesn't live up to comparison to the USA bats from last year that weren't as good as I assume 2019s will be. But the 619, I still think is going to be an awesome, awesome bat. And I think they've done a really good job here. Louisville Slugger obviously hit the jackpot last year with a couple of their models. And I think they've probably gone ahead and taken that information and probably had to just make a couple subtle tweaks. Whereas some of the other brands up here, they probably had to make larger changes to catch up to the rest of the pack. But thank you for that question, Dan. That's an awesome question, by the way. Our next question is from Leo. To know is there a drop three that can be used in little league and high school i have an eighth grader now yeah yeah so leo that's an awesome question and i get that question um up in the call center all the time with drop three bats they are allowed in usa play so as long as it's got that bb core stamp of approval and you can think of bb core synonymous with drop three so usa went out there and they said hey it's basically the same performance certification now in terms of threshold so BB Core Drop 3 is going to be allowed in USA. Now, if you're looking for one for an 8th grader, you're going to want to go with a lighter swinging bat that's going to be in that Drop 3 range. So you're going to want to go with one that's extremely balanced. Something that you're not seeing up here or a manufacturer you're not seeing is Marucci. They've got a cat series of bats, and that'd be really approachable. One piece of alloy, so you're not breaking the bank as much. We've got 6s, 7s, and 8s for sale right now. Any of those would be dynamite. Um, that's probably the jumping off point where I'd start with that, Leo. Okay, let's do, a, let's do a couple more here, okay. Tyler. Uh, Tasha wants to know, best USA bat for a 9U player. Okay, okay. So, Tasha, if you're looking for a 9-year-old player, you're probably in the range of a drop 11 to drop 10. Of that up here, I'd probably recommend looking at the Voodoo first and foremost. Again, it was my favorite bat last year, one of the only five-star USA bats out there, and it had, I think we had over 50 reviews on it. So the Voodoo was an excellent option. I swung a Voodoo. 13 years ago. So it's been a line that's been around forever. You've got that composite right there that's going to help nullify vibrations. You've got the alloy that's going to be stiff and hot out of the wrapper, which is excellent for a nine-year-old because they're probably not wanting to just go around and hit off tees and soft toss. They probably just want to take it to practice and start playing. If you if you want to go with something a little bit lighter than that, the Solo 619 is going to be awesome for you guys. Okay. Um, so kind of along the lines of a previous question, Gary wants to know best drop three bat for a smaller kid, uh, maybe at the top of the lineup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gary, great name. My dad's name. Um, with that, we, I'd probably look at the solo. So the solo is a, it's a really, really light swinging bat. Um, as you can tell with the USA model, that solo is actually one that's going to have that composite in cap and a really light swinging profile. Also, 
with that, it's going to be hot out of the wrapper, one piece alloy. It's going to allow him a little bit more stiffness and pop. Now, if he's looking for something more comfortable, any of the top end composite vats. So if you look at the Zen, you look at the Prime, you look at the Quattro Pro, any of those are going to be really approachable. I was kind of that style of player. I liked the flex. I liked the composite. Um, once you break it in, it's going to perform just like an alloy. So I, I would say either the Solo, if you want to go alloy, the Cat, like I had mentioned, or any of those composites. And if you guys are enjoying this, I think the idea is to try and do this once a week or once every two weeks. And we'll be back with a BB Core video that you guys can ask some of these specific questions on as well. But thank you for that question. Okay. Um, and maybe one more from Jerry here. How does the Axe Avenge 1 stack up? Okay. Okay. So the Axe Avenge one, that's a, that's a good bet. Um, so I'm going to use this as to kind of showcase what we're talking about with an Axe bat. And maybe you're, you're familiar with it. I, I do apologize. But one thing I always want to point out is you've got that handle right there. And that handle is going to ergonomically fit around your hands. What this does is it relaxes the forearms, allows you to get more bat speed. Guys in the pros are starting to use this. You got Mookie Betts on the Boston Red Sox. Um, you've got George Springer on the Houston Astros, some of the best players on some of the teams competing for World Series. So I think we're going to see more of these come into play at higher levels, and you're starting to see younger players take hold as well. But as you follow right here, if you've got your hands lined up like this every single time, it creates that hand up, hand down approach that's really good for hitting. You follow it all the way up the barrel right there, there's your hitting zone. So they can actually put more resources into an axe bat right there because they know you're not going to be hitting it on the backside. That actually allows it to be more consistent and more durable as a result. That Avenge 1, it's a great bat. It's a really, really good bat. We haven't got a lot of feedback on it, so I wasn't as quick to, to pick that into this lineup today. But that is a really solid bat. Um, I believe that's a composite bat. I, I could be off on that, but I believe it's a composite bat. Again, you're going to want to work with it a little bit, um, even though it is an axe, so it's going to be a little bit different. You just don't want a quarter turn like you would other bats breaking it in. Um, but, yeah, work with that bat, and I think you're going to get really good results. And that axe handle might be something we see on more of these bats going forward. But thank you guys again. I, I loved all these comments. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found me to be a resource, found um, some of these bats to be a, a good talking point. Leave a comment below. We were planning on doing some sort of special surprise. So I think um, if you left a comment in this section, we're going to be reaching out to one of you as a winner, as a potential winner of a $25 gift card. So thanks again for joining me this afternoon. Keep um Keep aware of future videos because we're planning on doing more of these as we go forward. I think we're going to try and break down BB Core bats. We might break down some new triple SA bats, some fast pitch bats, and even slow pitch bats. So if you guys have more questions or even have topics you want me to just talk about or anyone else to talk about, um, we'd be happy to do that. We just want to be a resource for you guys. So feel free to leave that comment below, and thanks for stopping by today.